Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Inspiration for Today. And this is day three with my good friend, Lou Tirado. Hi, Lou. Hi, Pastor. How we doing? We're going we're gonna to continue the verse for the day. I'm going to remember right off the bat and give it to you all because it's the same as yesterday, though. In Proverbs 13, uh, verse 20, it says, he who walks with the wise grows wise. And so we're walking these couple of shows with my with someone who I consider quite wise and uh, full of life experience from which I can gain and you can well, also. Well, so stay tuned. Yes. Yeah. Go. Uh -oh. You tell saying about me, but the only thing that I get a little upset about with people when they start saying I'm a hero because I don't believe that with all that's happened, uh, with my losing two men in my crew who passed, who mm -hmm. died, and and now that we just have Memorial Day and you saw all these pictures of all these different veterans, and these guys that never made it back are the heroes. The ones that came back practically crippled uh, are the heroes. I mean, I'm fortunate yeah. enough that, yeah, I went through a few things, but you know, there's always somebody who's worse off than you are. And that's- You know, I, I, I so yeah, appreciate what you're it. saying. What you're saying, Lou, because honestly, for me, you and they are all heroes yeah. because they, you know, it, it was in the Lord's hands who, who lived and who didn't. I mean, well, they were, you were willing, they were willing, and we enjoy the freedoms because of it. But they're, you know, you're all heroes to me. Oh. Including my father, by the way. Huh? Yeah. Including my father. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. hey. He got shot down over and he drifted around in the Pacific for a few days. Uh -huh. He was oh, shot wow. down too. Anyway, listen, uh, because you're coming up on your 100th birthday, and I, only, I don't know very many people who have lived through the first Great Depression, or really the Great Depression. Uh, yeah, we're going through some hard times now, but I really will always believe nothing like that. And you were telling me the other day what it was like to live in Hoover City, so-called, nice. or, or Hooverville. Well, Hooverville, Hoover City. What was, tell us what that was, Lou, well, in the it, 30s. It was, it was just a piece of land uh, that belonged to the government that had no, nothing on it. And then people just started to squat there. They would come and first of all, you had a guy with a, uh, had no place to sleep. Well, today they sleep on the bridges and stuff like that. In those days, they just took a box and put it on the property and, and laid in there and went to sleep. Then and that's another, because they didn't have a place to, li to that's live. That's right. right. They didn't have no apartment. Not only that, they didn't have no money. There was no money. There was no jobs. Yes. You know, it's not like today, what's going on today. There are jobs out there and people are, are still either getting some money or working. The government, in those days, the government didn't give you a check of $1,000 or something like that. You had nothing. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yeah, you know. So that was in the Brooklyn area, correct? Right, they were in the Brooklyn area, but they also had another one, as far as I know, in Central Park. Oh. I didn't know, I didn't know about at that time, or I didn't know until later about it. So there could have been a few around that, you know, we yeah. didn't, we didn't but get- it was it was challenging living, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, of course, because first of all, uh, you had to uh, go around scrounging uh, to get wood for your stove. You had to go scrounging around uh, to get uh, whatever without the money. And then you had to... Uh, and that ha even that simple act. That was competitive for the all the other, with all the other people that were looking for wood too. Well, right, that's right. And like I said, there was no we had no running water, we had no electricity, and to get water, you have one faucet for this whole area, and uh, and 
you had to come and, and pump it and put it into cans and carry it back. And uh, so that's that, amazing. That, and that was not like just around the corner either, was it? Of course it? not. Of course not. That was a, 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 day, a day's job. And, yeah. you know, and for the amount of water you can carry, you had to make a number of trips. You couldn't do that in one trip. Don't forget, you're looking for water for cooking, uh, washing, and forget about showers. There was no tubs. We didn't have any showers or tubs in the house. So, so water was so precious. I'm sure you, you learned to be very oh, yeah. careful well, with it. Oh, yeah. Well, you see, that's the that's problem we had. Uh, the experience I, uh, that got me over in Germany, that we didn't have that in the barracks neither. Uh, in Germany, so we only you had, had. It's as if God had prepared you, yes, in a way for yeah. that. Yeah, oh yeah. And right now, I I keep thinking, you know, people say to me, "Gee, you you're taking it so slightly, this not." Yeah, because the experience I got back in the '30s and the experience I got in Germany prepared me for this year. I, I'm fortunate that I have friends and family that have been taken care of me by going to the store. I haven't had to go. You know, not that I, if I have to, I can go. But you know, uh, they do it. It's better that you watch out. So that, that's great, but I don't have to worry about electricity. I don't have to worry about uh, water, uh, any of that. That's all here. And uh, you know, so you know, I- when you, So Lou was telling me some of these stories uh, last week and, uh, I'm going to say the same thing I said then. I think, I know those are struggle times, but from my perspective, this is probably why you are in, you're a tough guy. I mean, you, you get through what you need to get through. Well, sometimes this is, this is why, like for instance, I came up through the city in New York. I'm a, I'm a street kid. I learned the tough way out in the street. Sometimes you had a fight. Sometimes it, and, and you and you 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 didn't depend. You couldn't depend on anybody because everybody was more or less in the same boat. So everybody was on their own, uh, making out here, there. Uh, if you had a family, my mother went to work. That means that we had to take over and help her in the house and and help to clean and and help to cook and help to do all these things. Your mom was quite the lady, wasn't she? Oh, yeah, she was. If my, if my mother had been a man, she she would have been a good rich man because she knew she knew the value of a of a nickel and she knew how to handle it. And uh, but she loved us all, and she wouldn't go uh, anywhere. She wouldn't go to a movie. She wouldn't go to a dance. She wouldn't go anywhere unless we were able to go. If we could go. She didn't go. So uh -oh. I, I, I admire my mother and anything that uh, I've been able to do is because of her teaching of, I mean, not yeah. that I was a good kid all the time, not that I wasn't a handful, but, you Well, know. Lou, all of us qualify for that probably. You know, like, like they say, we're all, we're all sinners, you know, and, uh, but, uh, you you don't you don't go out in the street and be a tough guy and then come in the house and change and put a halo over your head and become an angel. You you pick up these things and then you it takes a while before you can get rid of them. But uh, I uh, well, Lou. I mean, I think the lesson for all of us is the Lord builds into our life oftentimes through the harder times and. You know, maybe all of us are growing right now and, oh, yeah. and in some ways, but nothing like that. And I just, I so have appreciated you and, and all that you have meant to our church and, the, and to me individually too, but, and my family for that matter. No. Anyway, Lou, thank you for sharing the last few days. Thank you for having me and I uh, appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Well, everyone... We'll see you tomorrow. We'll have another great show. But these were great shows, and I know you'll want to watch them again. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.